Now let's say we want to add a traditional two-dimensional cut through or section of the building to our drawing views. How do we go about that? Well, let's look across the tabs at the top until we get to the view tab. And then we'll notice here that there is an option for a section. So we're going to click on that. And I'm now going to click somewhere over the side of the building. I'm going to line it up where I want to slice through. And then I take the other link, keeping it horizontal, and click over there. We can see this blue dashed line, which represents how far it can see. We see the arrow pointing up that direction. If we wanted to swap the direction that the section is looking, we could flick those blue arrows by there and it will swap it back and forth. Now, in our project browser, as we look down, a new tab has been created, a little plus sign with sections. We can click on that and double click on our section and it brings up the section that we have so far. Now, it's quite often loaded in this rather blocky, unattractive manner. And I don't like the fact that it's put the text in the middle of the building for those levels. So I'm going to click on that line there. Now, as you go to the end of the line, you see a little circle, not the big one, OK, which shows the level indicator, but a little circle at the end of the line itself. And if you grab and drag that line, you can take those outside and it'll drag all of the levels together, which looks better. Then down the bottom of the screen where we've got the scale, we've also got the detail level. Now, if we change that to fine, we will then be able to see the hatching and the elements of the building. And that starts to look a bit more attractive then if you wish, you could then add certain room names. So for example, let's uh, go back to the annotate tab text. And that is the lounge. So I'll just put that on there. And we also have a bedroom by here. And that's bedroom one. And that gives us an opportunity as well to look at how it is looking. Um, we can see here that where we created our ceiling, we did not actually put any insulation in there. So we could click on that while we're here and just edit the construction of our ceiling and we will add another row. Now we'll say that the insulation fills the 150 and we'll have another 150 of mineral wool. So insulation. So we've got fiberglass bats or rigid. Well, we'll go for the fiberglass. Okay. You may wish to create um, a mineral wool insulation, perhaps, if there is one available, you know, if you can do that. But for now, we'll just change it to that and put 150, just so it shows what we've got. And there we go. Now we can see we have a bit of extra thickness showing the insulation as well. 